Hello, this is Roland, and I would like to welcome you to another episode of State of Decay. I thank you for watching this so far. For those fans who have been watching since the beginning, I appreciate it. And I would like to say hello to new viewers as well. So, please enjoy. I'm trying to one, figure out what I should get rid of. Because I know that weapon's kind of heavy. And... I hardly use it. Maybe I should just stick with the M9 because I hardly ever use my weapon to begin with and having that extra weight to be able to carry things kind of makes a difference. And our stock for food, medical supplies, and oil. Well, not oil, but, <coughs> excuse me, uh, fuel is really good, so I don't have to worry about going out of my way to try to find that. So, I will need building supplies if I am to that is my objective I like that new place a lot of military hardware I can loot and it really cuts into the episodes when I have to travel all the way there so I can move us there as soon as possible, that'd be great. Plus, I think I'm gonna have to move there anyway to move the game forward a bit more. I've lost way too many good characters from the ferals. Plus, lady, you've got more important things to do.
I went the wrong way. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry guys and girls. It's kind of early in the morning. I have to um, record this before I have to do other stuff. So, just trying to... But anyway, we will get there now that we're on the right track. <clears throat> and again, this kind of brings me to question, should my vid videos be at least 30 minutes in length? It's a good question. I'd like to really like an answer for it. But for now until I get one. I suppose I'll keep my episodes to 20 minutes. An ammo stash. What is that? Not that we need, well, we do, but, uh, you know what, forget it. It's not worth the time having to travel back. Citizens of Trumbull Valley. I know it's difficult, but we must insist that you do not bury any of your reanimated loved ones, even after they've been destroyed. The effects on the local ecosystem could be unprecedented. To properly dispose of the reanimated, wrap the corpses in heavy-duty plastic trash bags and leave them on the street. Patrols will collect any such remains and deliver them to the army for autopsy. The army. No, they won't. Traveling to this fairground place is a horse travel then and we're going to the town in the other town. I'm beginning to think we probably should have stayed in here. It's, I remember random things at times, and I remember this one time when I was at a friend's house, and this was before um, Dead Island came out, and we only had the uh, 
that trailer they kept showing, you know, the one where the little girl jumped out of the hotel window to try to save herself from being eaten. Well, one time I was watching that for like the upteenth time. <coughs> And his little sister was in the living room while I was watching it, and she got really scared. Shit. Is he still alive? Yeah, not for long by the look of it. Gotta get out of here. I, I, can't, I can't stay. Easy, soldier. What happened to you? I'm too sick. Left me behind. Left all the sick ones behind. <laughs> Guess that's why they always say, don't drink the water. We got a term for this in the army. That term is foobar. You better get going. Yeah. Okay, sure. Is that all this was? All quiet here. I don't want to go into the thicket, so... Ooh! Oh no, I don't mind. Thought it was another police station here. Check out the military stash. Oh no, where'd the... Put my car. I've been thinking about what our dying friend said about the water. Right before they locked me out, the science geeks were talking about something they found up at the reservoir. Now I'm thinking we ought to go check it out. Happy to help. Let's move out then. Okay, can I at least... use my car, or are we gonna hoof it all the way there? isn't all that far. Out. Well, the ones that weren't sick or hurt, at least. You saw what they did to them. This whole operation's been a chuckle fuck from day one, and your people seem to be the only ones with your heads on the outside of your collective asses. Just sorry your reward for that looks like death by super cholera. Chuckle fuck. We've got this place locked down. Yeah, you go ahead and take care of that. You know, when we first set up camp here, the captain designated this as our R&R &R spot. <laughs> Short of sitting on our bunks jerking off, all we were allowed to do with our free time was come up here, swim a few laps, and try to pretend MREs were suitable barbecue fodder. <laughs> <coughs> In retrospect, I'm not sure which I regret more. I recognize some of this. It's the same shit the Geek Squad was carting around when they were trying to find out what caused this. What's it do? Fuck if I know. I'm just a professional bullet stopper. They don't waste big words on me. 
They must have bailed in a pretty big goddamn hurry to leave all this behind. Let's see if we can get a better look. succinctly put. Now, it's been a while since I read my field survival manual, but I'm pretty sure dead guys rotten in your water supply is what's known as a bad thing. We're gonna have to leave the valley, aren't we? We can't keep drinking this. There's only one way out if you don't have air support. The pass back by the fairgrounds. It links up with the main highway after about 10 miles. The trouble is, the army blocked it off when they left. Probably trying to stop whatever this is from spreading. Then how do we get out? I'm not sure yet. I got a couple of leads I can check out. Meantime, your people ought to start stockpiling supplies. I don't know what things will be like on the outside, but I doubt it's good. Well, thanks for that. Now I need to... Whoa! Why does he run faster than I do? Take a risk and go into this warehouse. Cause why not? Besides we need the uh supplies. Close that door. I highly doubt building supplies will be inside a cola machine, but Goddamn cola machine. Well, before I could. Oh shit. That's gonna bring trouble.
maybe later. What? Really? Well, this has been Rollin 1990 and I would like to thank you for watching this. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. I'm here to please you guys, so please, by all means, if you enjoy what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. See you next episode.